All set? I'm Jason Wilson with Fresh Restaurant. This is Angela Lanier, our chef of cuisine. We're doing roasted Nia Bay halibut. Uh, a little bit of sea beans on top as a salad with some mani from Filio olive oil, some spring morels, green garlic, and a caviar uni sauce. Nice. What are you going to be cooking? Uh, are you going to be eating out in New York when you go? I hope so. Okay. <laughs> I've got so many plans already, I have no idea. I know that I'll be going to Daisy May's barbecue with David Chang in the game, so the, cool. the day before. All right. Thank you. There we go. Okay, my name's Ethan Stoll. I'm from Union Restaurant. And here's my past app for tonight. It's a uh, de crudo with celery, uh, chili, lime, and mint. And what are you cooking for? I am doing the first course tonight. Uh, mine is uh, Shigoku oysters in the half shell with a little ass, uh, a little ass, <laughs> a little Alaskan, Alaskan, Alaskan uh, uh, uni, and a little uh, cucumber and radish. Nice. So. And where are you going to eat in New York? I don't know. You know, honestly, I haven't even thought about it. You know, we're gonna go out there. We're gonna have a good time. Uh, we got a, we got kind of an entourage going. There's like ten of us going. Um, so we're just planning on kind of partying a little bit. Uh, we haven't made any ideas. I mean, we haven't made any plans yet. There's a couple places I want to check out. Like, I definitely want to check out Scarpetta. Uh, I wouldn't mind going back to Spot Pig, even though you know, I mean, even though it's. Um, been around for a little bit, you know, but I like checking out some little Classic things. Classic like place and like the modern and the museum modern art are, my favorite, are a couple of my favorite places. So. Cool. It's going to be a combination of new and old this time. Cool. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. That kitchen is hot right down there. <laughs> um, no. So I wanted to go over this dish with you. Um, a lot of pork going on here. It's kind of an Alsatian dish. It's uh, some charcuterie, which is just savoy cabbage and onion and some house-made uh, pancetta put together with some white wine and some apple cider, some uh, apple cider vinegar and some caraway. And then the little trotter cake is pork shin and it's uh, pig's feet. So we, we braise the pig's feet and the pork shin separately and then we chop up all that meat. We mix it together with uh, some shallot and some garlic and uh, you know salt, pepper, a little bit of microplane, uh, <coughs> Parmesan in there, mix all that together, and then it gets pressed into a sheet pan until it kind of gets set up and firm. And then we cut it into squares and dust it in flour and dredge it in uh, some egg wash and then, you know, put it in some panko and then and pan sear that. So, like a French tamale. Yeah, it takes like five minutes to make it. It's really easy for the home cook guys. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, the braised pork cheek, uh, the pork cheek is, we clean that and we cure it for 24 hours in um, like one part sugar, one part salt and garlic and shallot and parsley and thyme and you kind of pulse that in a, a food processor. So it gets kind of, it's a, a moist cure, but that moist cure really sets right into the meat. That's what's so beautiful about it. And the, that all that flavor just gets right into the middle of it. And then we braise it in uh, some chicken stock for about four hours. So it's definitely a, a labor of love dish. So mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of work that goes into it. And then the Parmesan broth is just chicken stock. And then you take all the leftover Parmesan rinds. Right. Like we stash them away in the freezer whenever we braid parm. Mm -hmm. And then just wrap it up in a little cheesecloth. And we put that into uh, the stock pot with a little bouquet garni, and, and that's the uh, that's the broth. But that mm -hmm. that parm rind works really good for soups or, or anything at home. So it's kind of a nice little trick. So cool. Wow. All right. Well, that's enjoy. So yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's so simple. <laughs> so Absolutely. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Fifteen minutes for the home cooking. <laughs> Mini Brazilian hamburger. It's Brazilian because it's how it's done in the Paraná. Uh, it's a, a strawberry beef, natural, blend with garlic, caramelized onions, and a homemade bacon. On top of beef lettuce, in the bun, the bun is a brioche, semi-soft brioche. The tomato is tomato with a sense <laughs> of the beef, okay, no ketchup. And the under is a Guinness uh, mustard and homemade potato chips. So, mm, traditional Roman baby lamb dish made in the spring. It's a milk-fed Cattail Creek um, 
lamb from Junction City, Oregon. It's braised on top of the stove with, um, oh, I can speak to everybody, I guess. I was gonna speak to us <laughs> no, talk to us only. No. You must ignore <laughs> them. Anyway, you must have it's oven roasted on top of the stove in a small amount of liquid because before World War II, when, which afterwards Italy had this giant, prosperous economic boom, most people did not have, um, an oven in their home. They put things to the baker's oven. So they developed lots of ways of pan roasting on top of the stove with small amounts of liquid. So this is roasted with white wine vinegar, garlic, sage, rosemary, extra virgin olive oil. And it's served with a, another classic Roman dish called um, artichokes alla romana. They're braised um, with white wine, garlic, mint, and Mm -hmm. So very traditional Roman Austria food. Thank you. And the great wine. Oh, the wine. <laughs> the wine is um, from Piemonte. It's a con Giacomo Conterno, very, very, very traditional winemaker. Not a modern style winemaker at all. Has been making his wines the same way for years and years. They have a incredible elegance and a great rusticity. It's a Barbera de Alba, 2006. Four. 2004, sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> even, oh, even better, you guys. <laughs> <laughs>